Hello traders, welcome to the Ninja Trader tutorial and the second module charting. In this lesson, uh, we're going to learn everything about the chart trader and how to place trades uh, with, within the chart on Ninja Trader. So uh, let's go to um, to a chart and uh, I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so this is the ES uh, November contracts or the E mini S&P 500 November contracts and uh, I'm going to show you uh, where you can uh, look for the chart trader. Um, the chart trader will uh, prompt out if you click on this um, uh, icon right here. Okay, when you click it, you will uh, you will have this uh, um, arrow pointing to the dance downside at the top right uh, corner of your chart, and if you click on it, you will get the chart trader now this is how the chart well, uh, this is this is what the chart trader looks like here you can choose the account you want to trade from here the quantity of contracts or the quantity of lots if you're trading a uh, uh, forex and of course uh, right here uh, you can uh, uh, you can tell uh, the platform to buy at market to sell at market this means that if you click uh, if we click two contracts right now and we, if we click buy market uh, 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 the Ninja Trader platform will automatically field our buy order at the best uh, ask price and our be uh, and our sell order at the best bid price. Now, uh, right here, uh, you can actually um, uh, use um, uh, your mouse to place uh, pending orders, and let's say that. Uh, uh, we are waiting for price to go all the way up to these highs, okay? To this high right here. Well, we're and, and, and the, when price comes all the way up to this high, we want to sell the market. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to place our mouse, our cr our crosshair tool, right below this horizontal line, and we are going to right click the mouse. Then, right here. On the menu, you can see that we have a sell limit order, and we are only going to click the sell limit order. We are going to to get uh, the confirm order placement um, pop up, and we click on yes. Order. And as you can see, our order is pending for price uh, to go all the way up here and get us filled. If, for example, we want to. Uh, 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 sell the mark or buy, I'm sorry, buy the market uh, when price retraces back to the bottom of the gap. We do the same by right clicking uh, the mouse and just uh, clicking on buy limit. Okay, order now. Order. order now. These are the ways that we uh, that you are going to be um, uh, placing a uh, pending orders and and uh, market order right now we're going to go to the th uh, to the three minute chart of the e mini s p 500 and we are going to place one trade all right so this is the three minute chart and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to sell the market with two contracts okay now uh order. Order. as you can see we got filled immediately uh, at the best um uh bid price and uh, the first thing I want to show you is this. Uh, when you are in a trade, you can see that right here you have uh, your profit. And this profit, you can change it to a percentage or to a point base or pip base by just clicking on this uh, black square uh, on your chart trader, okay? Now, uh, right now we are one tick in the money. And as you can see, if I click it, we are 0.01% or uh, 25 cents uh, because one tick is 25 cents on the E mini S&P 500. Now, um, for example, if we want to close the trade, we close the trade. Uh, I'm sorry, we, we click on the close button and it will close the trade at the best possible price. But let's say that uh, we want to reverse the trade. For example, let's say that uh, we went short right here uh, two contracts and price continue to to move to the upside. So uh, we want uh, not only to close our trade at a loss, but to reverse our position and go long. We just click on this button, reverse, 
and now we are long two contracts of the E-mini S&P 500, okay? Now, this is basically uh, how you're going to be using the uh, the uh, chart trader, and of course, if you are long and uh, you want your stops all the way down here, and uh, I mean, you should always use stops. Uh, if you are long, just right click on the, um, uh, on the chart and uh, just use a sell stop if you are long. Order. And if you are short, use a buy stop as your stops. And this is basically how you trade with a ninja trader and how you place orders, how you reverse orders, how you close your trades and how you put on stops.